Did I ever tell you what the definition of insanity is? Insanity is doing the same exact thing over and over again. Expecting something to change. That is crazy. I have a Spider-Man story that embodies the word insanity. With Spider-Man always seeming to get himself into a web of sticky situations and doing the same fucking thing repeatedly, expecting a different result. For example, how about the time Spider-Man had to use his web fluids to keep New York from falling apart? In this issue, we see that New York is almost completely covered in Spider-Man's webbing, and Gwen has been trying to get a hold of Peter for hours. With Gwen seemingly getting ready for a very special day as they set plans for dinner at 7.30, and it's incredibly important to Gwen as it's their anniversary and she desperately needs cider vinegar. Meanwhile, Peter swings over New York, webbing everything back together constantly because of an event called the Unraveling. Ever since the Unraveling occurred, no one knew how it occurred or why it happened, not even Mr. Fantastic. Essentially what the unraveling is, is it degrades buildings and people as well. So this is where Peter's web fluid comes in, as it's used to hold pretty much everything together, but it only lasts an hour. As we see Peter finding a man missing his jaw, along with his arm. So Peter quickly searches for the man's jaw and webs it back to the man's throat, and then swings off to find Doc Ock, the one responsible for taking the man's arm. Where we see another symptom of the unraveling, which causes people to loop the same action over and over like a stuck record. And in this case for Otto, it's battling Spidey to the death at a bridge holding a hostage. Only the hostage he has is the man's arm. So Peter tries to quickly dispatch Doc Ock and take back the man's missing arm. But when Peter puts too much strain on Doc Ock, his tentacles blast out of him along with some nasty juices. So instead of fighting Doc Ock, he webs up his tentacles to his back, promising he'll never laugh at him. Right after this, Mr. Fantastic blasts a signal to get Peter's attention. With Peter later arriving at the Baxter building, only to find Mr. Fantastic is a puddle of flesh on the floor, saying it helps him with his work. Peter then becomes aggravated with Reed because he has dinner with his wife soon, and he's running on three hours of sleep constantly, he weighs a buck twenty, and he has to repair New York every single day, non-stop, screaming at Reed that he just wastes away as a puddle of flesh, doing nothing. But that's when Mr. Fantastic says that he has something to show Peter as he walks into a lab discussing the web fluid, where Mr. Fantastic reveals he mixed his finger with Peter's webbing to create the perfect web fluid, telling Peter that with elastic prop and Peter's web fluid, they could make New York whole again, and Peter will be able to rest finally. But before that, there's a small problem to be taken care of in New York, and that problem is Venom, as we later see Spidey trying to get the drop on him. But after Gwen calls Peter's phone, it quickly alerts Venom, and a huge fight ensues. But while fighting, Peter notices that they're both equally weak, and when Peter demands Eddie to give him back the black suit, Venom reveals that Eddie died long ago after the unraveling occurred, and Venom has been trying so hard to keep his body fresh, with Venom saying, he never left Eddie because he was Venom's home. So Peter tries to say that he could be Venom's home now instead, with Peter even reaching out along with Venom. But in a moment, Venom rejects Peter, and instead chooses to die with Eddie as Peter watches on for a few moments, until he remembers that he had to meet Gwen for dinner at 7.30, desperately trying to swing as fast as possible to her apartment, calling and calling. But once he arrives, he feels deja vu, and finds a long, dead Gwen Stacy in a candlelit room, and remembers he's been in a loop all this time, as he tells Gwen that he forgot the cider vinegar while blowing out the candle, realizing that there's only one thing left to do. So Peter swings into the Baxter building, and and gets the drop on Mr. Fantastic, injecting him with a sleeper agent. After this, we see New York, now covered in all new web fluid, merge with Mr. Fantastic's body, with Peter stating that New York and its people are holding together far longer than he believed they would, giving Peter enough time to finally recover and be the hero New York deserves. As we see Peter pounce on a web made of Mr. Fantastic, with Reed begging Peter to stop. However, Peter just says back that he knows it hurts, but Mr. Fantastic has a responsibility to the city as Peter himself has slipped into insanity, ending the story. I hope you guys liked this spooky tale, and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And as always, I'll catch y'all on the flip side.